看到吗？是七年前的，七年前的影片，然后它有三百零一个 views， 二零一二年它已经 upload 了，而且你看到吗？它的 like 哦，已经是六百二十三。Prezi plain Jane, Yamagini Jane, rest in peace to my superior. Yo, 欢迎回到了我们的 KLPM Boys， 我是 Melvin。So， 在今天的这个 video 呢，我们想要和大家一起分享一个关于 YouTube views， 也就是说 YouTube 观看人数的一个计算法。在这个网络发达的时代。我们差不多每一天都用了超过六十八天的时间，在与电脑或电话的应用程式里，这些看起来很简单的应用程式背后，却有着一些不简单的计算法，就好像 YouTube 的观看人数一样。当人数突然暴增的时候，你们有可能会觉得很开心。相反的，如果人数不理想的话，你们或许会很低落、抓狂。或者突然间想吃 Super Ring， <笑>这纯属娱乐，跟 Super Ring 无关。可是你们有没有想过，如果你们 upload 的 video 啦，无论你们 upload 一支影片也好，两支影片也好，甚至十支影片都好，它的观看人数永远都只会停留在三百零一个人，无论一年后。两年后或者十年后都好，都永远永远都只会停留在三百零一个人的观看率。你们会怎样做？我不是在开玩笑哦，这件事真的是发生了哦，它是发生在一个叫做 Number Four 的 YouTube 身上。说、so, 今天我们就一起来看一看他七年前 upload 的那一支影片吧。So let's。So, 首先，你可以去到你的 browser， 你的 YouTube browser 那边，按三百零一个 views， OK。然后过呢，你就会看到这一支影片，没有错，就是这一支，你看到吗？是七年前的，七年前的影片，然后它有三百零一个 views， 到现在啊，还是三百零一个 view， 所以我们一起按进去看一看。OK， 停下。OK， 收、so、skip 掉那广告。OK， 收、so、没有错，就是这个 YouTube， 你看到吗？他的那个 view 是三百零一，他 upload date 是二零一二年，二零一二年他已经 upload 了。而且你看到吗？他的 like 哦，已经是六百二十三个 like 了，可是他的 view 还是三百零一。你觉得有问题吗？是非常有问题。啊，其实如果你想要看他的真正的那个观看人数的话，他在他的 video description 最近他有写了出来，他这边写的是四月二零二零年的时候，他的总共观看人数有九点三个 million 这么多。其实他这一支 video 只是想要跟大家解释，为什么当 YouTube 观看率暴增的时候哦，数字总会停留在三零一一段时间。之后再继续上升，可是却没有想到中招的会是他自己啊！说<笑>、so, 话不多说，我们一起来先看一小段先哦，过后我们再一起来看一看他那支影片里的留言，看一看大家是怎样去看待这一件事情的。I want to deal with the number that must be the most requested so far on number file, and that is three hundred and one. Now, for those of you who don't pay much attention to the YouTube view counters, you might wonder what the big deal is with 301. And let me tell you, when a new video is uploaded, and if it's quite a popular one, you'll quickly see the view counter rise and rise and rise, and then it will get to 301, and it will freeze, and it will stay on 301 for a day, maybe half a day, and then it will start. Stop. Just 停在这里，我们一起看人家是怎样 comment 的。你看啊，有些人讲，其实我没有想过要去呃安进去的，可是我看到你的 view 我吓到我，所以我按了进去。那有些又讲呃 ，you will freeze， 有有些人学他讲话，你玩看 ，you will freeze for a day or maybe a half。And YouTube say what about no？ 这边写 three hundred and one，we will start counting 
on a couple of days seven years later still the same how do you sell them as it was so much issue and numbers as usual now a lot of people have been very mystified by this and have asked us to check it out I'm Ted Hamilton I'm a product manager for YouTube analytics so there you go I've got it so that is you to like the YouTube the product manager like people who actually count the YouTube views that is correct well we actually have the computers do it we don't count them ourselves but uh, yes so before we get to this whole 301 malarkey what is a view on YouTube? I've always wondered, is someone just pressing play counting as a view? Well, that's actually a bit of a YouTube secret. A view should be a video playback that was requested by an actual user uh, who got what they were intending to get and had a good user experience. We think of uh, views as a currency, uh, and therefore we have to make a significant effort to uh, eliminate counterfeit views, if you will. Now I know that all sounds a bit mysterious and we will come back to it later on in the video but let's crack on with this 301 figure and you're going to find out So we are going to skip to some of the most important parts because this video I've already seen this video so I know which part is you need to know some details so I'm just going to take the video and take the most important part well, okay, they drew a line in the sand. It was kind of arbitrary. They wanted to differentiate between people just sharing their home movies and the videos that are more popular, the ones that are a bit more serious, the ones that need scrutiny. But that was 300. The view counter freezes at 301. What's going on here? Is there a reason? So, this is why 301,为什么一定要三百零一,为什么可以是另外一些的数字,所以看一下这个YouTube呃, Yeah, there, there is a reason, and the reason was, the number 300 was chosen. And when someone's writing code, uh, they need to put the logic in the code that says, you know, where you should stop, or where you should uh, if one condition is true, you go to the left, and the other condition is true, you go to the right. Now, this condition uh, can be written like this. If the view count is less than 300, then go ahead and add one to the view count. Otherwise, go to X, where X is our you know, much more complicated view count pipeline. However, what actually got written was not this, but if view count is less than or equal to 300, then increment the view count. So what this means is, if the view count is at 300, it says, is the view count less than or equal to 300? Yes, it is. Let me add one. So then you end up at 301. <laughs> 它其实是这样的你可以看一看啊你看它这个是二百九十九嘛对不对所以它是少过三百或者等于三百对不对所以它的门还是开着 so it has a kaiser view has a kaiser like okay. So since I sound by the ear, so he is in Togo sound by the so it manju quana no lam, let me say no lam, so it manju quana so it chen bu view ting lai, tai 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 approve了他们，他才会打开，然后才会进来。所以就是这个就是所谓的啊，YouTube里面所拍的IT，coding，有些人啊会觉得哦，这个不明显，是因为有有一些时候并不是一定是stop在三百零一，有时候会stop在三百
某个角落的 server。OK， 说、so, 如果当同一个时间，比如说有三个人观看的话，可是你那时候你的 view 已经是299了，说、so, 同一个时间有三个人观看，可是299是少过三百，它的门还是开着的，说、so, view 可不可以进来？一样可以进来，刚刚还没有加的时候是299吗？说、so, 两百九十九是少过三百。说它的那个 gate 还是开着的，说那些 view 还是可以用来的。可是如果同时间有三个人或者十个人观看的话，打个比方，十个人观看，说十个 view 一起进来，你的 view， 因为你你的 gate 还是开着的嘛，说你的 view 就会一次过加十个，说 maybe 可以加到三百一十，也说不定。看下那时候是有多少个人观看了。有没有觉得学到了一样新的东西嘞？说如果你喜欢我们的影片的话，记得订阅、按赞，还有把我们的影片分享出去。See you in the next video. Peace.